So in this video we're going to create a random world on our own. First of all we need to learn how to take total control of the game. So we've already done some of this but if I look in sources we can see that we can start the game we know how to stop the game with the stop game function. We know how to stop the invasion. We know what an invasion looks like. So we've probably got enough information to do this. So let's stop the game to start with. Stopped. Let's stop the invasion because we are going to create our own invasion that is just going to be random. Now it would be great to be able to just clear the display. In the past we've done that but it's by refreshing. But if I look in here there's some functions that look like they might do that. Let's see if I can find it. Nuke them all. That looks like the kind of thing that if I did world dot nuke them all, everything would die. So let me see. Let's start the game and see if that worked. There we go. So we started the game empty. So let me just stop that game again. No point playing the game with nothing happening. So we need to then create some random things in there. So I can world dot add to population a new life form. Now I can see how we do this in the add life forms code. So this is where the predefined patterns have been added. So I'm just basically copying this code. So I say new life form dot move. This is a generation number, so I'm going to make that zero. Then I need to get random values. I'm just going to randomly put this anywhere on the world. Now I didn't complain, so hopefully if I start the game. In fact, if I start the game, it will just immediately die. So I need to look at world.population. Wow, 7,000 points in there. That's not going to help me find it. So what I probably want to do then, world.population equals an empty array. Then if I add to that population, then look at the world population array, there's one thing. That's better. So this world population empty array is probably a better way of creating a completely empty world. So what I need to do then is take that command that creates a random entity and wrap it in a loop. I'm going to edit this in the snippets view. That way I won't lose anything if something goes wrong. So let me copy this, creating a random thing. We're going to do that in a loop. Let's pre-print that. There we go. Let's make it a little bit easier to read so we can see what this is doing. So it's basically says, loop round a hundred times. Every time in the loop, add to the population a new life form at a random position in the world. So if I run this, now we have a look at the world population, 101 things. We've added 101 things. So we should be able to start the game now and see the result. Wow, that was fast. So that's because the game is so large in size. How big is the world? 362 by 236. And we just put 100 entities in there. That obviously wasn't enough for the rules. So let's increase the number up to a thousand. Save that, run that snippet. Oh, the game's still running. Even that wasn't enough. They didn't survive. Let me try and run that again. Oops. So we're not really doing enough here. Let me add this up to 10,000. See if that helps. That's better. So experiment with different loop sizes and see which one works for you. Remember the easiest way to Start with an empty population is the world population. Give it an empty array. I'm going to just give this a thousand. No, a thousand wasn't good enough. Let's do 3,000. See if that works. So experiment with different sizes. You can keep running this. You might get something interesting popping up. So we know how to start the game, stop the game, stop the invasion, create our own random entities, and we know how to nuke everyone, and we know how to completely reset the population to nothing. So experiment with that, have some fun.